You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? Different scenarios ran through my mind. Ways of how I'd torture the kidnapper to get Alice back, or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. I had no way of knowing she was still alive. It was killing me. I think I'm still in the house. Stop looking at that photo, Lieutenant. Nothing can change the past. But you can learn to live again. For yourself. And for Cole. You know, every time you died and came back, made me think of Cole. Give anything to hold him again. But even so, come back. Knowledge is power, but I say it is a poison. Knowing the date and manner of her own death torments her. Sorry for screaming so much at you. You just kept getting worse, and every time you broke down, I felt so helpless. I know it wasn't, but it's a bit late for that, huh? I miss sitting in the kitchen with you, sharing a chocolate bar like we used to. Mm-hmm. With almonds. It's just... <sighs> I'm so sorry for not being there in the end. I am... the architect of my own destruction. That's the problem with demons. If you don't lay them to rest, they will haunt you forever. The death of those cats must have taught you a terrifying lesson. But simply being alive wasn't enough. So then you went to work to make yourself sensational. You know, for a while now, I've wondered if I'm just not a good enough storyteller. 
If I just don't have grand enough words, can't tell grand enough stories. But grand words and stories, I think they may be overrated. And may still be home. You had your chance to take me. You won't get another. But we will meet again. At least one more time.